Okay, so tonight we're going back to the hairdryer. I'm gonna give it another shot. I've got myself a new concentrator on the end with a much thinner nozzle. So hopefully we get that result that we've all been waiting for. Okay, so as you've just seen from the introduction, um, I am going to be giving the hairdryer another shot and I'm really going to try it. I think I've set myself up quite well for this one. Um, I've mixed all my colours a little bit thicker. I've done drip tests to make sure they are somewhat the same consistency. Although I think my gold might be a little bit thin, but there's nothing I can do about that because I've got no more, more gold to mix into it. Um, we've got a bigger canvas, 14 inches by 18 inches. Um, and I'm going to be doing, like I say, a split pour, so half white, half light green that I've mixed. And then on the top, we're going to be laying down some dark green, some purple and some gold. The reason for those colours is um, if this comes out well, this is going to be a present for my uh, mother and father-in-law. Um, they're members of the All England Tennis Club. Um, I'll put a logo on the screen now. Um, but as you can see, those, those are the colours of the club. So if we create a nice piece of art tonight it will be a lovely present if we don't create a nice piece they're never going to see it So I've been doing my homework um, around consistencies and I've found this consistency from a lot of people which when you're pouring off of the stick into the cup you're not quite it's not quite creating that indent back into the paint and it leaves trace lines when you sort of swirl the paint back in that's the consistency that everyone's been going for and that's what I've managed to do with my paints tonight but my <laughs> i'm just looking at the base and especially the way the paint's laid down and it's holding it's holding its shape from the way i've just applied it the bubbles aren't even managing to rise to the surface i think i think this is way too thick um i think this is far too this is far too thick i'm gonna try i'm gonna give this a go because i need to make sure you know it might be perfect because <laughs> i'm yet to complete a, a good pour with a hairdryer as you all know so we're going to give this a go but I, i've got the feeling that this 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 base is just too thick um, and i don't know if people are maybe using a different thickness of base versus the paints that they then use to blow out um, i don't know but like i say this is this is the consistency that everyone's saying um, and i'm not i'm not convinced so we'll see <laughs> we'll see when it comes to the blowout Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my colours my colours down now. Um. I think I've gone too much on the colours as well. This isn't going well tonight. Anyway, let's try.
Okay, let's see what we can do with the hairdryer. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It's probably the best result so far with a hairdryer. I'm sure, I'm sure you will agree. It's come out really well, and I like the fact that it starts quite wide and gets a bit thinner towards the, towards the top. That's really, really nice. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one there. I'm, I'm, I'm I am happy with it. It's the best result we've had yet with a hairdryer. I am, I'm making progress. Really happy. Um, what I would probably do next time is I will make my paints just a, just a tad thinner and then obviously make a little bit more paint. So I think I've got a bit more, I've got a bit more paint on the canvas for the colours to spread. Because the reason why this side hasn't gone as far is because we are super thin on paint in the green area. Whereas this side, side I think travelled really well because the white had a thicker layer on it. So. That's just down to me, that's just not making enough paint. I've got loads of paint left over here, unfortunately, where we didn't really need it. So that's just that's just quantity of paint. I'll see how this dries. I'll see whether or not it's it's worthy of a gift. And if it isn't, in my eyes, we can uh, we can remake this because I'm really happy with the with the colours and the composition. So yeah, I'm really happy. I hope you like it too. And I'll bring you in for some close-ups just so you can see how the colours are. Are, are, are spreading out. Okay, thank you. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.